Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of season two of The Promised Neverland. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. So, um, I was on Twitter. I, I didn't read most of the comments, but I, I think people, yeah, I think people are a lot of pissed. So I think after this, we will pretend that season two never happened, right? Because... Um, I don't know why, <laughs> well, yeah, I kind of know why people are pissed, because, you know, anime only, but, um, I don't know how this ended, I just, I, I made sure not to read anything, but I went on Twitter before I started recording everything, and I saw that Promise Neverland was trending, and I was like, oh, I'm guessing people are voicing their opinions on this final episode of season two, and I, I looked a little bit, but I didn't see, like... I saw top tweets, but not recent. And most of the top tweets were like, oh, like we're saying goodbye to Promise Neverland, possibly never going to get a, se uh, not a second season, third season. Um, and it's one girl saying, so we're not going to talk about this anymore, right? We're going to pretend that, you know, season two never happened, right? And such. And I'm sitting here like, well, however this ends, I'm guessing like still no matter what, manga people are pissed. I think maybe anime only is our piss as well. Um, and maybe don't want to see this come back for a third season. I don't know. I mean, we'll find out by the end. I, I watch this episode. But. <laughs> I just, I know some people are floored probably over this ending. Of course you can. You just have to try. Why he a little Lenorm? I mean, look at him. Damn, a car. I would have never thought. Oh. I mean, damn. You. And I'm guessing this is all anime only, too.
Okay, see, now we just need to kill him. He, he don't want to change anything. Bam, da 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 Bam, dead, gone. Ah, let him die. Let him die. It's gone. I mean, you know, let's hope so. Mm-hmm. Why? But... So you can start a new life with them? Yeah, I mean, because honestly, I, I, could, I don't even know if I could have forgave you either, because... No. So are we going to like flash forward to the future where everybody's older?
country. What is this now, the mist? Yeah. Why? Because it... Wait, hold up. And what's that going to be doing just to sacrifice yourselves for this? Excuse me. Yeah. Of course. Mm -mm. Go live a nice life. I'll see you in like what 20 years or something like that. Oh. 
Oh, don't cry. You'll see him again. Twenty years later. Bye, Phil. Oh. Oh. Stop it. <laughs> Of course, they, they got to do a time jump. Something. They can't just be like, oh, here we go. <laughs> Damn. This is really how they end in the show, huh? Oh, wow. Mm. And there's cars, oh my god, like still, it's so, oh, and they're gonna go to school, <laughs> oh my god, oh. Days went on to weeks and months. I mean, they look a little taller, like, yeah, so they gotta be older now. It's got to mean something to the manga readers. Mm. Like all this, the just the pictures and the music, that's got to mean something to the manga readers. Like honestly, I gotta say, manga readers, I'm sorry that y'all are getting this, cause like, ooh, if, <laughs> cause let me tell you, if I had read the manga and then watched this, I would be so fucking pissed. Cause I, I'm guessing from your perspective they're skipping on a lot of stuff that you guys obviously really truly wanted to see animated but of course airplane. oh my god i cannot believe i'm getting excited over a damn airplane Look 
at her. Oh my god, she's so pretty. I mean, like, shit, how many years will we stay in the past? Like, Phil, okay, so, like, Phil's, like, what, eight? Maybe at the, you know, the first before that time jump. So maybe he's, like, 15, 16. So it had to be a couple of years because, of course, Ray, Emma, and Norman are all older now. And it's, okay. So, final thoughts on this. I, I'm at a little crossroads with this. I'm a little... I'm happy that the show got a second season, but at the same time, I'm, a little, I'm disappointed about what happened. As someone who is in an anime only, who's coming into the middle of this between, you know... <laughs> who don't know talk shit about the freaking manga. And possibly going between... Everyone who has read the manga who hates this season versus maybe some manga and anime only people who possibly did enjoy this season. And, you know, like I said, I'm in the middle. I, I, I ugh, God, I just, I got a lot of mixed feelings on this. I, I think, you know, now is the time that I can finally say this. You can go ahead and spoil everything on me. I, you know what? And I'm also going to say this too. Um, I found a video that I I kept seeing for the last few weeks always show up on my recommended page for any YouTube video that I had watched it every single time it would always be there like the it was talking about the promise in Neverland manga and how it went from great to like bad and such and so I think I'm gonna watch that tonight while all this is editing because I I, I have a lot of questions because you know it's just it left it in an open ending, but even with you showing pictures and putting music in, because I, I get that for time crunch and maybe their budget wasn't enough as they got from season one. And I'm guessing what did the creator of the manga also have like a, a point to say? And also did he was he also a part of this? I mean, because there's a lot of things from what episode five and six to that came out of the woodworks and ish i mean because like god this this is just giving me feels up to <sighs> this is big little lies all over again i mean like oh my god it because it, it, it's so fucking similar because of, of so many things like oh my fucking god because it's just like when you really think about it and okay so like okay let's use this as an example because we're going to talk about this damn show um so let's say you have a show, you're you're following the manga or a book or whatever, and let's just say it's one book, and then the the creator of the series makes a novella and stuff, and yada yada. You make season two, you have a really nice director to come in here and make it with a whole bunch of cast and crew and everything, but you have the person that directed season one come in, and because everybody liked the way how they did season one. They want them to kind of do season two in this similar way. And sometimes that's how a lot of people um, will watch the Big Little Eyes-ish and say, oh, it was like kind of half-assed or anything. That's what it kind of felt with this show. It felt very half-assed. And I hate to say that. And I'm not saying that if the creator did have some say on this for the second season, that that's maybe the number one reason why. There could be a lot of reasons why, um season two got a half-ass adaptation but does that mean it, it, it uh, oh god it's not bad but it's not good that's all i really have to truly say about this i i did love the story i still love these characters but it still felt like oh god i hate to compare this it, it, like game of thrones it, it felt like i was watching the <laughs> the final season of Game of Thrones all over again. Like, you started out with a damn good show. An amazing, flawless horse. And you ended it, and that horse was just, like, trying to get to that freaking line. Like, that, mm, that, <laughs> that finish line. He was trying so damn hard to get to that. I, I don't know. It's like... And I've seen this so many other times with so many movies and TV shows and animes that I think. This is also about having too much cooks in the kitchen, if you understand that. Because when you have too many people wanting to say, let's go like this, let's go like that, let's go like whatever, you end up fucking up whatever you're doing. And the next thing you know, when critics get this and critics say and trash it, then people are getting all pissed and angry. And then you sit here and you're like, well, you shouldn't have this, this, that, and the third all up in your business. And then, you know, it could have been a better season. 
I mean, I, I still liked it for what it was, but it still leaves out so many unanswered questions. And like I said, all the things that showed up with the pictures. And as I <laughs> saying that, you know, I bet you manga readers are hella peeved about this. Seeing certain things with big old spoilers, because I'm guessing everything that they showed as a picture in this cute little slideshow, that had to be spoilers for things that we'll probably never get to see. Because they decided to go an anime only route with some spoilers in it. Because like, okay, the last thing that I heard, and I think I heard this like, what, two, three weeks ago? That, yeah, they don't really meet Norman in the chap, cha like, not even chapter, episode five, six, whatever the heck we met him. They apparently he doesn't meet them until they're older again. So then it's like, okay, the ish that happened to him in that was that really true? Did that happen in the manga? There's a lot of unanswered questions with this, and and so it just makes you wonder, like, if it gets a season three, is it going to be the same company, or is it going to be a different one? I mean, oh god, I. <laughs> I don't know anymore because it's just, it's weird. It, it's really, really weird. I, I liked it, but then at the same time, I didn't. I enjoyed the story, but you, I still felt empty. I, I still felt like there should have been more, and there wasn't a lot left. I mean, yes, because see, in my opinion, this last episode should have been an hour long. There should have been so much other things that we should have known that should have been in this but no you gotta you, you got a quota you gotta make it into a 22 23 minute episode and it's you can't have too much or too little but then that also tells you like say hey go read the manga but like i said i'm gonna go watch that video that's gonna be the only thing i mean like i said y'all can go ahead and spoil whatever the heck you want because i'm all yeah how y'all manga people feeling after this like truly really because i mm, if I'm not mixed feelings, y'all are probably pissed at this adaptation. Like, for it. I think everybody will just always remember, like, oh, we're going to accept season one. We are never going to talk about season two ever again. There may be some people who will be like, yeah, let's always talk about season two because season two was good. But then there's going to be people, and we all know that there's going to be those type of people who are just going to be like, no, like, mm -mm. Promise Neverland never got a season two. We, mm -mm. We're not going to talk about that anymore because, or ever again. But, I mean, it is what it is. I, I just, it was still a good show. Uh, you know what? My One of my other favorite VAs, Emma's VA, freaking Ichiko for my katsu. And then you had freaking, um, I don't remember the two Seiyus who play Ray and Norman. All three of them were amazing. I honestly cannot wait to see what the heck that they do next. I know Ray's VA is going to be going back to um, playing uh, Katarina Kleiss. I don't know about Normans yet, so whatever the heck they're going to do next, they're going to be awesome in it and such. But this was a this was a miss. This was a horrible miss. It started out so good, but it had a really just, I don't know. I don't know. That's all I have to say about that. It was it was good. But like I said, still a little mixed feelings on this. And I think probably maybe after I watch this 20, I think it's like 20, 30 minute hour long video. I don't remember. Probably maybe two hours. Maybe it'll change my mind. I don't know. Well, who sees? We'll find out. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards <laughs> season two of The Promise Neverland. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, I think, what, next week for the start of spring anime. Bye, guys.